Well, good afternoon. You join me in the sunshine inside Jenny. Right, I have fitted this new 50 litre water tank. Now, to buy a 50 litre water tank was about 98 quid. A proper, proper, you know, water tank. This is just for the shower, this tank. So I went out and I bought a waste tank. It normally has wheels here that you put it along. It's 46 litres, I wanted a 50, it's near, it's near as damn it, it's good enough. So it gives us more capacity for the shower. So I fitted that the other week, that all works perfect, I've got the pump down there now instead of underneath this box. But I can't tell how much water's in it all the time. So, I bought this kit off of eBay, which is a sender, which travels up and down this bit, there. And you also get the gauge with it. So I'm going to fit that today. So obviously the sender goes into the tank, into your top part, the highest part, which is here. Then I'm going to run the wires up the back here, and I'm going to put the gauge up here, which is backlit, and the little switch. So I can switch the switch on, tells me how much water we got, lights up, switch it off. Then when I'm filling it, I can just have it switched on. We can fill it, because we're going to we fill it from here. We don't fill it from outside, we fill it from here anyway. The pipe going in, which will be on that blue one there. With a the funnel in it, as we're filling it, we can see how much water will be going in. So, that is what I'm doing today. Bing, hello there. Yeah, um, tools I've used was a 52 mil hole saw. That was that was for the, uh, for this. 52 mil hole saw for that. So that's that was for that. Uh, the one down here, where's my drill, the one down there was, bear with me, bear with me, I will get the measurement. Yeah, the one for the sender unit, I used a 44mm, I could have used a slightly smaller one, but it might have been tight, so I used a 44mm one for that. I used this, Sika EBT Plus which I get from Screwfix for £10.49 a tube. Use that. The wire I already had, uh, like I said, I've recycled the wire, so for the signal wire and that, so I already had that, so I didn't have to buy it. Um, bit of tape and a couple of chocolate block connectors, really, and uh, that's it, really. So what I'm gonna do now, I've got it all working. I've got to go and pick my daughter up, do dinner and whatnot in a little while. Um, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shrink all the, shrink wrap all the wires and getting them all clipped and tidied out the way. So they're all done. So yeah. Catch you in the next vid anyway. Goodbye for now. Right, so we've got the hole saw kit. So cutting out the hole for that and the hole for the size of that. I've got my sicker flex there for sealing this rubber washer at the top. Then there'll be five self-tapping screws to hold that in. And I've got this wire, which the other week we had a Henry Hoover and the uh, it blew up. Tried fixing it, couldn't fix it, so I've kept the wire from it, so the wire will do for running down for there, for the signal wires, so I haven't had to buy any wire. This kit with the sender, the, sorry, the sender and the little gauge was 27 pound off eBay. It come from China, got here in a week, which I thought was brilliant. Normally they take ages. So these are the bits and pieces I'll be using to, uh, Fit this up there so first things first i'm gonna sort the cable out and run the cable ready to make sure i've got enough then i'll cut the hole for the sender unit and show you up top where it's going okay so we got the hole there ready for the unit to go in i've put one wire down the back which is the signal wire this is screwed into the top now with copious amounts of uh, Sikaflex sealant so it never leaks. I just got to get another screw and then do the wire into this, put one more wire down and the rest of the wires are in the back of the cupboard. Then we should be good to go. And there we have it fitted. At the minute we've got just over half a tank of water. That's showing up there. And the sender down there. So that's working, I've just got to put a switch in next to it to go onto these two wires so we can turn it off and turn it back on so we haven't got the light on all the time and 
it won't show the uh, water all the time. So I've just got that to do next, but I've got to go and pick my daughter up from work. So please like, subscribe and all that. This was fitting a uh, water sender unit, which I got from China, but it all works perfectly fine. Look, there's a lovely, lovely gauge with it and everything. Um, yeah, please like, subscribe and all that jazz. And I will see you in the next instalment of uh, Jenny's Adventures. Catch you all soon. Bye for now.